Hey Giants Nation, thanks for clicking on this video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the press conference that Dave Gettleman had today and one little snippet that he um, he said in the press conference. Um, it's been, people have been clamoring either to go, you know, if Isaiah Simmons is there, you gotta take him. If Chase Young were to fall to us, you gotta stay at four, gotta stay at four, gotta stay at four. Others have been saying, hey, if you could trade back, get more uh, draft capital. Uh, we've got the 99th compensatory pick in the third round. Um, we lost a th that third that we would have had um, in the Leonard Williams trade. Now, people want to trade back to see if they can get that third back. I I'm, see. I'd be okay with trading back, but you don't. You you can get more than just that third. Um, if you can trade back enough where you can get maybe another first from the Raiders, um, the Jaguars. I'm not saying that any of these guys would want a quarterback or maybe they want, maybe they would want Isaiah Simmons there if he's there at four. Um, so you can get a lot of draft capital from certain teams. A couple, um, I would say a couple first round picks. Maybe you can pick up another second in the right trade, second and a third, um, depending on what the trade is. Now, Gettleman today said that um, he is very open to trading back, um, but he said that it's going to be different this year because they're doing everything virtual, uh, webcams. You're gonna have Jason Garrett on a webcam and Patrick Graham. You're gonna have uh, Joe Judge, Gettleman's gonna. They're all going to be tied in together in their little war room. Um, and he said that it's going to be different this year because you're going to have to talk to these other teams um, and see where their head is at before you're on the clock because. If you're on the clock, webcams can break down, internet could go out, all these things, all all of these things can happen. So he said, before the picks can even happen, we have to have um, some type of. If you're gonna trade with, let's say, the Chargers, you and the Chargers have to have a a, a trade plan in place already, in order to execute that trade as fast as you can, and where if something happens, the terms of the deal are already agreed upon and nobody can get screwed basically out of what the trade was um so i mean it, it's very encouraging to hear i say you stay at four you see who is there um if you're enamored with a i i think if you're enamored with a offensive lineman you could take him at four but there is a possibility at four where you can have uh, makai becton just uh, he had a diluted or a, uh, his uh, urine sample or blood sample or whatever came back positive from the combine. So that's going to drop him in uh, on the board. So could you get uh, Makai Becton at 15? Um, I mean, there's that stigma that comes with that. But remember, Laramie, T uh, uh, Laramie Tunzel, who played for the Dolphins, who is now with the Texans, um, he had the whole thing before the, the day before the draft where he had the mask and he was smoking marijuana. And look at him. He is one of the top left tackles in the league right now. So, I mean, a positive test doesn't mean anything. That could be for, I mean, it, it could be for steroids. It could be for marijuana. Um, it could be for a multitude of different things. He could have been on some type of medication before he went there, and that triggered a positive. So if they could trade back, that would be great. But I, I say that you wait, um, wait there for you see what options are there. You talk to these teams a couple days before um you can get in their headspace and say where do you want to go where do you think you're going and they may not want to spill the beans um but unfortunately the way the things are now you're gonna have to spill the beans um even if it's just a little bit um do the giant uh, we don't know if the giants are getting phone calls now about that fourth overall pick um they probably are if gettleman is so open to trading back he probably knows that there are people who are they want to uh maybe they want lo uh, love uh justin love justin fields one of the eastern stick something like that eastern stick is one of them um herbert is another one out of oregon there's a lot of options there i mean people could jump could jump up and want okuda you just don't know so that's what 
that's the main thing that came out of the press conference to me was that he is willing to, to trade back. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, should they trade back? Should they stay where they are? Um, what else could they do? I mean, it, it, it sucks because it's been such a, a slow time for football with everything going on with the coronavirus that usually you have news reports on top of news reports coming out. Oh, this, but because everybody's stuck inside, basically, it's, it's, it's really tough for anything to come out. So, I mean, I'm glad that they're doing these press conferences over the phone, via webcam, whatever they're doing. So, um, if you could, uh, hit that subscribe button. We are at 53 subscribers. I appreciate everybody in the slow off season that we're having who are subscribing. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be great too. And tune in for the next one. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is going to be on OBJ and who won that trade. So, that, a couple more. So, thanks for watching. Have a good night, everybody.